Hi guys, welcome back. So we're gonna continue testing ACMD component without removing it from the board. So let's get started. So in the previous part, we have seen how to test electrolytic capacitor, MOSFET, inductor, ceramic capacitors, and others. Now we're gonna continue testing other components like current sense resistor, fuses, ICs, resistors etc so let's dive in please if you are serious about improving your repair skills subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified for future videos like this one and to be part of our family where i have over 1000 friends you are very welcome all links in the description also you are gonna find in the description the link for a full article in my website about all what we have discussing in this video so please make sure you stay tuned and do not miss any moment if you want to maximize your chance of understanding this curve so guys always the multimeter in the continuity option this component here is the fuse please do not confuse between fuse and current sense resistor like this one so in the fuse you're gonna find usually P like this. Okay, so for the fuse, if we test it, of course, we're gonna get low resistance zero in the multimeter. But for current sense resistor, like this one, guys, for example, like this one, also low resistance, like a fuse, you see? We have also low resistance. But sometimes you can find 2 ohm, 1.5, sometimes 3 ohm. So please do not confuse between the current sense resistor over here and the fuse as you can see i can even show to you other fuses and current sense resistor because this is very important especially for beginner and guys by the way the current sense resistor you will always find it near the power jack here okay and also the battery connector do you see the same constant resistor those two are changeable you can replace this one by this one etc because basically the purpose of this current sense resistor is not like the normal resistors but it calculates the amount of the current consumed by the motherboard for this one calculate the whole current consumed by the entire motherboard but this one near to the battery connector it cal calculate the current consumed by the battery so do you see guys as i told you always the same current sense resistor used for the power connector for the input and for the battery do you see here i have the battery connector for this motherboard we have the current sense resistor guys if we check it very low resistance it could be zero as you can see and uh, okay we have here r 0 10 we have this one also for the input also because this is the charge ic so the same you can just check it you have to find continuity like this if you check it and you find open no continuity means you have problem with this one and by the way if the current sense resistor is failed the motherboard will be a dead motherboard because it is replaced in the ma in the main power rail in the 19 volt power rail okay b plus that's why very important so just a tip here guys do you see this is 8p mosfets and those also are 8p mosfets okay this is not ic's but mosfets we have 8 pin also must fit this one you can find in this side or in this side and of course we have serum capacitors we have ic resistors capacitors around it and i already told you that you can check the serviceability of any ic by checking the ceramic capacitors around it this is very fast and quick test if you find that the ceramic capacitors around any IC are good and not shorted, shorted, this is means that the IC is good to 90% the IC is good and is not shorted. But if you find a shorted capacitor means it could be 
One of these capacitors is the shorter one or the IC 19% is the shorter component. And here, guys, this is the, this is the, the point I want to mention again is those components here, guys, are not ceramic capacitor. Why I repeat this point again? Because many technicians make this kind of failure many technicians make this kind of failure by replacing a ceramic capacitor by an inductor guys this is inductor this is not ceramic capacitor if we check it look do you see zero this one also as you can see this one also but those guys please pay attention those are diodes. Do you see here D? Here we have L. Here we have D. Very important, guys. Please. I uploaded a video about references. Do not neglect and do not hesitate to watch that video. The references are very important if you want to master electronics. Do you see? This component and this component are the same. You see, the same size, same color, but this one is diode, this one is inductor. We have L, but this one is inductor or coil, this one is diode. Look, this one, as you can see, we get continuity. This one, we didn't get continuity. Do you see? Continuity. If we swap the props for this one, we get 600 drop voltage in the multimeter. Do you see, guys? This is diode, this is inductor. Here, we have L504 for the coil and D512 for the diode. The same. So, the same here. Do you see? Here, we have L means this is inductor here. As you can see. And this one, this is diode. Look, 600 drop voltage. So, if you didn't pay attention to references, you can replace this one, for example, the diode, but the inductor from another board. Guys, references are very important. I will put the link for the video where I discuss in details references, how to repair and master motherboard repairing using references like this ones and also sometimes you can find capacitors as this exactly as this compound also let's see for example here do you see here we have a capacitor do you see this one brown capacitor this one is a little bit black so the references are very good are very important to master please do link for the video where i explain the references in the, in the description, do not hesitate to watch it. If you want to master and to avoid making problems and short circuit in the motherboards.